Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proens and today we're going to talk about the tribute page project of FreeCodeCamp, the responsive web design path. So basically this project we have to submit in order to continue our code, all right? And this is how it will look like. We're going to do a project just like this, where we have this title, we have this image, this legend for the image. We have here a timeline of the Dr. Borlaug's life. And then we have this quote for what he said or what something someone said about him. And in the end, we have this message where we can click and go to the Wikipedia entry, okay? So we're kind of gonna do all of this in this project. So let's start our code, all right? Basically, here we have the user stories that will kind of give you some guidance of the things we need to do to complete this project. And we also have here the run the test to check if everything is correctly, okay? So let's start. So in here, we have our HTML file and then we have our styles of CSS. Both of them are empty and this is where we're gonna see our code, okay? So like we know, we have to initialize our file with doc type HTML. So we need to tell our browser that this will be an HTML file where we're gonna put our website, okay? And here we're going to start the HTML tag, HTML. And inside the HTML, we have the head, that is everything that is not visual, and the body, okay? In our head, I'm going to create here the title for our project, and I will call here tribute page. Basically, the title is the title of the, the tab, okay? So basically, it will be the title of the tab that appears in here, okay? And I will also want to make a link with the styles.css. So here, link equals to real style sheet and I'm gonna put here href and it will be the styles.css, okay? Now in the body, we have some things to work. So basically here, your attribute page should have a main element with a corresponding idea of main, which contain all other elements. So basically the main will contain everything we have inside, okay? So we have our body and we have our main with id equals to main, okay? And everything we're gonna write will be inside of this main. Now let's continue actually. So we should see an element with an ID of title, which contains a string, a text with the page. So basically we're gonna have this title here saying Dr. Norman Borlaug. So basically here we're gonna have an H1 saying Dr. Norman Borlaug. Okay, and if we take a look in here, it's displaying the same thing, okay? Borlaug, great. Then we have, uh, and here they're telling us to have a title well, with ID equals to title, great. Then we should have a paragraph. They're not telling us about this paragraph, but we're gonna have a paragraph in here where we're gonna add this message, the man who saved a billion lives. So here we're gonna say, the man who saved a billion lives, okay? So this is what we have so far. Now, before we continue, I wanna do some changes, okay? I wanna start manipulating our page because it doesn't look like what we want. So first I'm gonna change the font family of this project, okay? So I'm gonna use the body tag and change the font family for all of the code. I got here the font family, okay, from the developer tools in here and I'm using, all right? And basically, also we can see that the body is in white, okay? So the background color for the body is white. Background color will be white. Okay, and we know that here the main everything is in this uh, this tone of gray. So basically, here we're gonna use the hash main, and we're gonna have a background color. And here I'm gonna set like f6 f6 x f6. Let's see if something changes. So here we can see a light gray. Okay, we can also see there are rounded corners. So here, if you want, you can add border radius of 10 pixels, and we can see kind of a border in here. The color is not too much so let me see here uh f1 if i change to f1 and f1 now it's a little bit more gray okay now we can see a little bit better the color here for the text i would change to ccc okay so here for the title i'm gonna change change the color here to hash ccc to be this kind of actually no sorry ccc is not the correct color i'm gonna use ccc for the background in here ccc great so we have this tone of gray all right probably it's too much right so i'm gonna use the same one that we have we're using before okay and now let me see if I change here to zero now it's more about your style okay now I'm gonna change the title here to center so if I put here hash title text align center it will be in the center right now okay and we can also add here the paragraph in the center as well so I'm gonna give it here a ID equals to description okay and here I'm gonna add the hash description Actually, I'm gonna change some things because in this H2, I wanna give a font size and I'm gonna put like 30 pixels, let's see. It's not too much, 40 pixels. It's huge right now, right? And I'm gonna have a hash description, hash description to have in here the text align 
center. Okay, and now we have this text alignment in here. I also want to create this, this spacing here, so I'm going to have a padding top of 20 pixels, for example, and now we have this spacing. Probably we can increase a little bit to be pretty similar to what we have in here. And this is spacing between them, they are fine, okay? So, so far, they are kind of similar, right? If we take a look at both pages. Now, let's work with the image. So, like we can see in here, let me remove the style and I'm gonna put this in here again. Uh, so, like we can see here in the structures, this third instruction, we should uh, see either a figure or a div element with ID image div, okay, where we're gonna make this image in here and then we need an image caption to be uh, describing the image okay so this is what we're gonna do right after the paragraph I'm gonna create here a div with ID equals to image okay uh, actually image div okay image div and here we're gonna have an image with ID equals to image they're asking us to have this the source will be this source here that they gave us all right for code game gave us so this will be the image we want to display all right and we also want uh, we can put an out message to say here uh, a description so basically in here if we get we can say like let's take a look at what they gave here in the inspect I don't want to make any mistakes so here this can be the description they're seeing the developer tools we have here this Dr. Norman Borlax C standing in Mexican wheat from field with a group of biologists so basically we can have the same out message here okay so I'm gonna add so one quick fix I'm gonna change here instead of div I'm gonna use figure like they suggest okay figure and uh figure figure no i put it in the wrong place probably figure figure i think this is correct so basically i put here the figure all right instead of div and if we remove here the source for one second we're gonna see that appears this message the out message so this is why we use the out to be description of the image but let's go back here the image there it's not fit okay we're gonna fix don't worry and now we're gonna add in here i have to close the image tag because i forgot and now we also need a fake caption Okay, because we want to add a message. We want to add this message here that it's right after the image, that it's a description of what we have. Okay, so basically the fig caption, fig caption, we have it in here. They're telling us to use an ID equals to fig image caption. Great. And we're going to paste this message here and we can see in here in the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna fix a little bit about this figure before we move on for the next part. Okay, so I'm gonna shrink the part of the instructions and now we're gonna work with this style. So now we're gonna work a little bit in here to fix the styling of the image before we move on for the next session, okay? So first, let's take a look in here. Basically, the image is inside of this div that is white, the background color is white. So here in the image div, img div, I'm gonna add here a background color white, okay? And we can barely see, but we can see in here, do you see? For the text we have here in white, and I wanna add a padding of 10 pixels. And we're creating this space in here. Probably we have to add more, but soon we're gonna be able to see. Now I wanna work with the image. So I wanna make the image fit inside of our div. So here I'm gonna make max width of 100% and it will fit inside of our div, okay? So for example, if I change in here, it will expand depending on the case. This way it's responsive. If I change here to 10, now it's not that big, the space between the image and the box, okay? In this case, you can select what you prefer. I believe I'm gonna let here 20 pixels the way it was, okay? And we can say here the hash image to display block. So we're gonna set this static in here, in the middle, the way that we want, okay? Besides that, we can work with the caption, with the IMG caption. So here the hash IMG caption. Let's see what we can work in here. So basically it's everything in one line, right? So let me open up here the pre no, it's in here already. So basically, if we expand in here, we want to put everything in the middle, right? We want to put everything in the middle in here. So basically, what am I going to do? I'm going to change here the text align to center. So this way it will always be center, okay? 
like we can see in here. Great, so this is what we have so far, okay. And it's pretty similar, it's because uh, we shrink the page, all right? But if you take a look, it's pretty similar. We can also change the font size here to something else. If you want to put 20 pixels, for example, I think it's too much. But 12, for example, now it's too little. And 14, I think it's a good number. So you can kind of set here what do you prefer, okay? So let's move on now for our next part. So now I want to make the timeline of Dr. Bollard's life. So let's see the instructions again. Let me shrink these tiles and appear in here. So now we're back to our item six. We're almost finishing this project just really quickly. So basically in here, what do we want to do? We want to create an element with a corresponding ID attribute info, which contains the content describing the text, right? So basically in here, what are we going to do? We're going to create this part in here with the unordered list. Okay, um, let me take a look in here. The image here, they're telling us that we should use the max width and a height property to resize, so we already did. And the image tag should be centered within its parent. So everything here is made. Now we just need to work with the creating this timeline. So basically here, I'm gonna create a new div, ID equals to tribute info. And inside of this div, I'm gonna have an H2, here H2, that I'm gonna place this message here. Great. H2. And I can also give here an ID of subtitle, for example, and then later we can work. Then what do we have? Then we have an unordered list where we have bullet points, right? So for the unordered list, we need to make here our UL. Okay. And for every item, we're gonna have a LI. Okay, so we're making the list item, we're gonna use li here. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna bold the, the date and then we're gonna let the message uh, without the, the bold. So basically for the bold, we're gonna put here the message. For the bold, we can use here the strong property. Okay, strong. And it will make strong only the number and the other parts will be this way. So now I'm gonna accelerate the video, adding all of the dates and the text. Or I will be doing this and I'll be right back to show you. So you just need to do, you just need to copy this and paste and change with the uh, values that we have in here. Okay. all the things that we had in here okay we're gonna start working with manipulating these things that we have so the first thing I want to work is working with the h2 I think we can change the size of the h2 here so h2 but actually it's subtitle that I'm calling and I want to say font size of 20 pixels let's see uh, probably it's a good number great and I want to center so text align center Okay, so it's in the center. Uh, I also want to padding in the top and in the bottom. So basically, I'm going to do padding 10 pixels and zero or 20 and zero. Okay, great. And I want to change the font weight. I want to use like 300. 300 is too little, 600. Now I think it's nice, okay? Now we need to fix here. So what can we do? Basically, we have here, all of this is in under uh, an ordered list, right? So we can change the max width of this unordered list in order to make it in the middle. So here, UL, I'm gonna do a max width of 550 pixels, for example. And if I expand, it will be always this size, okay? I can also do display flex and the, fla and the justify content center okay so if we take a look now oh everything's crazy we can change here the flex direction to column and it will be fixed okay and we can do align items items center as well and it will put everything in the middle i at least it should uh let me do one thing here we're gonna use the this div where what is the div in here we're gonna use the div uh, i gave the name tribute info and it will be 100 percent tribute info and this tribute info will be with a uh, hundred percent okay and uh okay it's working here the unordered list let's see what else we can do and what if i change all of this to here great so we changed this to the tribute info and now things are in the middle okay we can change the list items as well we can create a margin between them so for example margin 10 pixels and it will be a space in between them we can have a text align justified and then it will be a pretty better <laughs> the way it is i'm going to change here to 15 pixels 
Okay, so I think it's looking nice, right? It looks pretty similar to what we have in here. Probably we can even increase to 20 and it will be better. Okay, so soon. So basically things are pretty similar. Now we can work with this last part here, this message that we want to display. Okay, so we can put this in a paragraph. All right, so let me put here in a paragraph in the end. It will be after the unordered list. So it will be a paragraph where I'm going to add this. Okay, and let's see how it looks like. We have all of this in here. I'm gonna use two paragraphs actually. So it will be one paragraph for the first one and then it will be a second paragraph for the Indian primary prime minister. Prime minister. <laughs> all right. Um, now I can put a div actually for this quotation. So div id equals to quote and I'm gonna put this inside of a div. So basically here, I'm gonna close the div, okay? And I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna have a max width here. I'm gonna do a hash quote. And I'm gonna do the same max width in here, okay? I will also wanna add in this quote here. So I'm gonna have a quote. I wanna add the font style. Uh, italic I think this might work let's see it's in italic great we can also change the color to hash CCC I'm not sure if this will be nice actually I think it's not that good <laughs> we can leave the same color as it was I'm gonna add here a margin of 20 pixels okay let's see and uh, I want to do a text align justify as well okay great text align probably we can decrease here the max width for the quote right so I'm gonna remove the quote from here and I'm gonna put here a max width of 500 pixels let's see how it looks like it's pretty better right we can see here that it's looking nice all right so so far things are pretty similar now we just need to do the footer so now in the end we're gonna add uh the final uh, final paragraph here we can create a div uh called id equals to footer for example okay and in this footer we can have a new paragraph where we're gonna display this message and then we're gonna have a actually i think i'm gonna use a h6 h6 because we're gonna give some priority in this okay like we can see here in the bottom probably an h4 let's see the h4 how it works so h4 is a little bit better and the wikipedia entry i want to use this hyperlink that will redirect us to somewhere else so i'm gonna get this link and i'm gonna insert using a hyperlink here so i'm gonna have an ahref equals to this hyperlink okay and i want to close after the word wikipedia entry before the dot okay so if we take a look now it's pretty similar correct now what we can do is let's check here if we have everything we need. Here the A should be an element with a corresponding ID tribute link. So here I'm gonna have an ID equals to tribute link. I'm gonna give an ID for this href saying ID tribute link. And we must give your element an attribute target to blank. So here if you remember we can set a target attribute that it's blank. And let's see what happens. Basically, in here, if we click, it's telling us that it will be redirected somewhere else, but we're redirecting in here. So basically, this is pretty much what we have to see. If you take a look, we finish our code. All right, the website looks... Actually, the, the image is changing here. The other parts are extremely correct, but here the image should be in the center, right? So what we can do here, we can work with the style. Just a quick fix here, otherwise uh, we might not pass the test. Oops. So what we can do in here, I will change the image instead of block i'm gonna put here uh display flex let's see and justify content center and align items center let's see if i expand here now the image still change let's see why image 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 div i think we have to add this display in the image div let me see and here i will put a flex direction of column Okay, great. So if I change in here, now it is always in the middle. So this is great. Now, if you take a look, now we actually made the same project. Okay, so this is it. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, you can send me here on the comment. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you would like to have full support from Programming Expert via Telegram group and group coaching, check the description below.